my name is Gina Gutierrez. I'm with Diacati Fitness Performance Life Center here in San Francisco, and we're back for another episode of Summer School with DB04. So what we've been doing is breaking down the body to determine what is the best way to get that summer body. Um, so today I have Mike Clausen, co-owner and fitness performance specialist here at Diacati, and we're gonna focus on chest. He's gonna give us a couple of different chest exercises to work on. All right. So uh, the first one we're going to do is a dumbbell fly to press, followed by a set of push-ups. Okay. And then we're going to go into uh, stability ball cable flies, followed by a set of push-ups. <laughs> and then we're also going to go into uh, Gravitron uh, chest dips, followed by a set of push-ups. And right. maybe for a little extra credit, we're going to go into uh, Superman push-ups. Okay, so he's going to make me work. <laughs> Let's get to it. Okay, so for the first set, we're doing a dumbbell fly to a dumbbell chest press. So what you're gonna do, Gina, is lay back, and we're gonna go into a dumbbell fly. So we're gonna go neutral grip, and then I want you to bring your arms all the way down, feel that stretch on your chest, and then bring them together. Squeeze till they almost touch, and then come back down. So typically, you're gonna do about six to 12 reps of each uh, movement. So first, we'll do the fly. So let me just have you do four here. So just do one more and then we're gonna go right into a dumbbell chest press. So rotate your hands, bring it down, and push. So let me have you do four here. Good. Okay, last one. Perfect. All right, so then I'll take those for you. So now I want you to go right into your push-ups. So let's go, let's just do five, but guys at home, I want you to do about 10. Good, perfect. Keep your head in neutral position. Keep your low abs pulled in. Hold at the top. Awesome. Good job. Good. Okay, Gina, so for the next exercise, we're gonna do a stability ball incline fly. Okay. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna set up on either a functional trainer, or also you can do one of the cages if that's what your gym has. Okay. Uh, so what you wanna do is grab a stability ball and make sure it's a firm ball. And then you're just gonna sit on it Take the cables, and you're basically gonna walk yourself down until you find the sweet spot. And keep your body at an incline, because we already did the flat dumbbell fly and flat press, so now we're gonna work on the upper portion of your chest. Perfect. Yep, that looks good. So what you're gonna do here is just do an incline fly and bring it all the way together. Now the good thing about doing cables versus dumbbells is that you're constantly having to fight against the resistance of the cable, whereas a dumbbell is just the gravity. So this one you're always working. Good, so let's do two more. Perfect. And then you can walk yourself out of it. And another thing you can do is you can also change up your positioning. So you can do incline, you can do flat, uh, anything that you wanna do on the ball. Okay. And typically, then I would have you go into another set of push-ups after this. All right. But I'll let you rest. Thank you. <laughs> cool. Okay, so for our third exercise, we're going to do uh, Gravitron chest dips. Okay. So what I want you to do is uh, jump here on the Gravitron and set the handles to the wide okay. setting. Okay. And then you're going to step onto the platform here. And what you want to do is keep your body in a bent position. So bring your knees up right here, and so we're gonna lean forward. So what this does is gonna put more of the focus on your chest and less on your triceps and shoulders. So now just come down until you feel your chest stretch right there, and then push all the way up and lock your arms out, and then come down slow, stretch your chest, and push, good. And you wanna make sure that you keep your body in this position, don't let your legs uh, accordion, keep your butt out, perfect. Okay, so you can step down. So then what you'll do is you'll go into your extra uh, push-up set, but if you guys find that the push-ups are getting uh, easy for you, why don't you try doing it on a modified version with on a stability ball? So what I'll do is I'm gonna hold the ball for Gina. Some people may need to put, uh, put the ball against the wall, and that's totally fine. And what you're gonna do is grab the sides, and as you push down and up, I want you to push your hands in, right? So you're almost doing like a combo between a fly and a press. Good, so let's do one more. Perfect, cool. And you guys will feel when you're on the ball, it'll be a little bit unstable. So just make sure that you're really strong as you're using it. If you need to put it against the wall, put it against the wall.
All right, guys, so as a bonus, Mike is actually going to show us what we call a Superman push-up, and he's going to actually do a progression of it. So, Mike, what are the phases that you're going to do? Okay, so for the Superman push-up, you don't want to just go right into it. You want to make sure you're nice and warmed up. So what you're going to do is first we're going to do just a regular push-up. You're going to progress from that to a uh, plyo push-up, just hands only. Then you're going to progress to a plyo push-up with your hands and feet coming off the ground. And then you're going to progress into your Superman. So I'm going to uh, just run through each of those progressions. All right. All right, so just regular push-up first. So then you're going to go into a plyo. And then we're going to do hands and feet. And then, ready for the big one, Superman. <clears throat> All right. Nice job. All right, so Mike, you showed us a variety of uh, chest exercises. How would you recommend us introducing that into the program that we currently have? Like sets, reps, tempo, what would be your suggestion? Yeah, so what I would do, if you're looking to build your chest, I would actually give yourself one, uh, one to two chest days a week. Um, and then you want to just vary the sets and tempos. Okay. So I would tell my clients to do about four to five sets okay. uh, with increasing weights and varying up their tempos. So tempo being, you know, two seconds down, hold at the bottom, two seconds up. Okay. Uh, as you go through the progressions of that, you want to increase your sets uh, each week and then also uh, just kind of play around with the tempos and see what works for you. Okay, great. That sounds good. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much, Mike, for joining us. Yep. And check back next time. We're going to do another episode that is focusing on back for summer school with DB04.